tell you what you need to do until I'm <clears throat> before we get today's video started. You need to get an espresso machine. It's, it's life changing. But uh, the focus of today's vlog is going to be on how to get better at fly fishing. First off, there are no rules to fly fishing. Uh, you can do <clears throat> whatever you want, really, uh, to an extent. <laughs> there are certain things you'll need to learn, like casting, um, retrieving, setting the hook, mending. <clears throat> drifting, except can adapt these to fit your style of life. So just keep that, keep that in the back of your mind. First thing I want to talk about today is probably the most important tip I can give you, which is T-O-W. stands for time on the water. It's simple. If you want to catch more fish, you got to spend more time fishing for saltwater guys. Um, if you want to know when the fish are going to be in, you got to pay attention to the tides, right? But you also need to know what time the tides hit. So if you're fishing in the low country, say, and you aren't catching any fish when you're going, maybe it's because you're fishing during a low tide or a slack tide, but you only know that um, if you spend a lot more time on the water fishing. Um, and with that, you'll be able to tell what fish are coming in on high tide, what fish are going out on low tide, what um, kind of prey or bait fish is coming in on the tide, how long it's staying there, etc. Second thing you want to do is learn where your faults are. If you notice that you can't really keep a fish on, and you have them on, you maybe not look at it. You can't seem to reach the fish uh, because you're just not close enough. You don't want to get closer because you're scared you're going to spook the fish. You need to work on your casting a little bit. Get out there and get casting. Tip number three is going to be learning how to practice. Start with casting. Casting is pretty easy. On how to practice, you can go out to water like I am here and work on casting. It's a little bit different, but we're going to go over that today. Uh, you want to go out to some easy water. You know there's fish at. They can be panfish, they can be bass, they can be trout, they eat anything. And I mean, they buy like every cast. So instead of jacking the hook up, like for a trout set, you're going to work on the timing of your strip set. How long do you pull? You know, how hard do you pull? All that kind of stuff. Because you're practicing. Last is going to be putting, on, putting it all together. Um, it was kind of what I just talked about just a second ago about. You know, you want you practice your casting. Now, when you go out and spend more time on the water, you know you have this distance in reach, and that's when you want to be able to catch the most fish. So, with those tips in mind, we're going to head out here to the water. Um, it is a little bit windy today, so I apologize for the wind noise. Uh, and we're going to get after it, and we're going to go over how to strip set and how it's helping me. All right, guys, so now we're going to be talking about a strip set. And as I kind of hinted out in the video earlier, a strip set is, is, is just that you just strip the line in instead of pulling the rod up. If you look in the clips playing, you will see two things. The first being that my rod tip is pointed directly down and would normally be about an inch off of the water or right there on top of um, This is to ensure a tight connection between my fly, my fly line, and my fly rod. Anytime there's slack in there, there's gonna be a chance of you losing that fish. Next with the strip set, you'll see that when I get a fish on, or I feel a fish, I'll hit one big strip, two big strips, and sometimes a third big strip before I pick my rod up. If you look at the overlay footage, you'll see how I strip strip and then I pulled the rod up. As well at the end of this little clip here, you'll see um, that on the tarpon that I caught, how I let him smash it and then I've just kept pulling it I think two or three times before I uh, pull my rod up to uh, to fight him so these are just some tips on how to strip set and I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, weekly vlogs will be coming out once a week on Wednesdays um, so mark your calendars for that uh, until next time see you guys